What is up everybody? It's Napalm Acid. Today I'm going to be checking out this Folkland LCD digital microscope right here. You can pick this up on Amazon for about $99 and there will be a link down below if you want to purchase it. So here it is right here. You can see the front of the box right here. Nothing too special. It doesn't really say a brand name or anything on it. I'll go to the side here. You can see some of the details, a thousand times magnification, two million pixels, two megapixels, LCD digital microscope, store photos and videos. Can't put a micro SD card in here, I believe. And you can store everything you save with picture or video. So you can see the operating systems down below, eight wide LEDs and micro SD card up to 32 gigabytes. And I really like how this can do picture and video recording of such microscopic things. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this up here. Out of the box. Nothing else in the box here, so let's go ahead and take this off here and take a look at what we get. So first things first is a quick operating guide, just very basic. Everything you need basically right there. Seems like there is a bigger user manual right here. You can look through that and stuff. Yep. You get a uh, microfiber cleaning cloth. Nice. See, it's just a large blue one, nothing too special there. You get a micro USB charging cable, I would assume. This has a built in 1500 milliamp battery, so it doesn't need to be plugged into work. You can bring this with you anywhere. That's one of the probably the coolest features I'd say about this is that it's battery operated, a battery operated picture microscope. Kind of cool. So, there it is right there. So, looks like that's everything in here. So, let's just, seems like we missed something here. Let's move this out of the way. Just like that. All right, so looks like you get some sample B wings in here so we can test it on our microscope. So let's put all that aside there and let's actually get to the microscope here. So as I said before, it has a built-in battery, 1500 milliamp hours, the recorded 1080p digital, 50 times to 1000 times zoom. I said two megapixels, rechargeable battery, pictures and video. So here it is, you can see the screen here. I can get the focus on there we go you can see you can peel off your screen protector here just like so and then we'll take a look at the device here you can see the base here it has some rubber on the feet there is your charging port right here as well as a red indicator light probably to tell you it's charging you can see the base of it here and the front of it here so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through some of the features show you how it works look at the screen all that good stuff all right guys, so here it is. I just took off the little cover on this. There's a little blue piece of tape, just peel that off. You can see the base right here is six centimeters by six centimeters. It has some little measurements on here too and your little clamps for holding down your slides right there. You can see on this side is your locking and unlocking ring. This is what secures this after you adjust the height. So we'll loosen it here. We'll come over here and we'll adjust it up like so, as close as you desire. And then you turn this to lock it into place. It's already pretty tight there. So that way it doesn't move down on you. You can see this is removable. Looks like it helps the LEDs to uh, shine onto whatever you're looking at a little bit better. It just removes like so, has a little clip right there and you'll just line it back up inside of it like so. So I just showed you these two here. You can take a look at the side right here. You can see where your micro SD card will go in on the top. And this is your brightness adjustment for the eight, for the eight LEDs right there. So there's nothing really much else to show there. So I think the only thing left to do really is to turn it on. You hold down the power button. You see the lights come on down here. You can just keep holding it. The screen comes on, LEDs here. You can see I turn this down. It gets lower, higher. That right there is coming from the light over here. Let's try to turn that off there. There we go. So you can see that. So this right here, the last thing that's really very important actually is the focus adjustment ring. Less focus, more focus. So let's just get a sample in here. Get your LED on. So you just get your finger under here and then this will help you to focus it as you can see, changes the focus. So very cool, let's go ahead and take a look into the screen here and we'll actually put that uh, B wing on there and take a look at it. You can see the resolution is adjustable here. You have these different settings as you see there, adjust between them all. You have the quality here Go ahead and take a look in there, super fine, fine and normal. So just do super fine again. You have your sharpness, white balance and exposure there. 
Okay, so here we are. We already looked through all of these settings here. Now we're gonna go to the gear over here. You just press your power button once here. You get to your other settings. You can change the language, the LED brightness. You can also do that on the side here. So I'm not sure the reasoning for that. Um, I'm sure there actually is a reason for that. Um, date and time, screen save, power frequency, format. Let's see if there's any more if you keep scrolling down. Uh, default, <laughs> default setting, I'm assuming that means, and uh, the current version that we're on. This is my version. Uh, looks like to be March 10th of 2018, unless it's a little different, I'm not really sure. So yeah, we already looked through all that, so now let's just go ahead and go back to the main menu. You just keep pressing this, and it takes you back. The other thing that I really should have mentioned before is the camera take button. This is the button that actually takes the picture or video, depending on your choice. You can hear the nice, strong click there. Okay, everybody, so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna test this uh, Swiss Army knife on here. Tried the B-Wings, and they do look very, very cool, but it's just really hard to get that on my camera, and I feel like this might be a little bit easier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring the focus up just a little bit here, move it a little closer so you can see the screen, and I'll adjust it a bit. You can see you can get a much better focus. I'll try to get a little more focus there. It doesn't do it justice on the camera, it really doesn't. So let's just keep going in here a bit. Readjust it some. And you adjust your focus ring accordingly and you can get a very, very clear image like that. You just have to adjust a bit to get where you want. You can see just like there probably. So let's go ahead and slide it over a bit here. Take a look at some of these words going on on the side if we can. It appears we can. It's very hard to see and I do believe I have it backwards, so we'll readjust here, just like so. Turn our brightness down. You just sort of mess with the settings till you find what you want, and then your focus there. You can read Victoria Swiss made stainless steel, or stainless right there. So yeah, you can really see everything. I'll try to get that a little closer here. Maybe try to get a little better. There we go, beautiful. So yeah, you just sort of mess with it till you get the best clarity for you. And take a little higher of a look on the screen there. Let's see if we can get any closer, remaining some clarity on it. it. Seems almost as high as I can get it. Just like that. And then you will adjust your ring. Beautiful. Look at that. So yeah, this is a really cool uh, microscope here. And then once you have this, if you wanted to, you just press your picture. Like that, it says no card, but if you had a card in there, it would report to the card as a video or picture of your choice. You can see it is in picture mode up here currently though. But yeah, so you have a lot of different settings on this thing. That's one of the coolest aspects of this, especially for a $99 microscope. So uh, there's not really much else to show with the device. I'll go ahead and take it off here and we'll try to take one quick look at the, uh, into the lens. Can see it down there with the LEDs. And if you lower the brightness, it goes down to almost nothing. It gets very bright too, and this just illuminates this ring, which makes it more of an evenness. So yeah, guys, this is the Focalin microscope. It's a 4.3 inch microscope, and you can't pick this up on Amazon for about $99. They do have a coupon code available, so be sure to check that out in the description below. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Remember to leave a like, a subscribe, a comment, if you like this video, it's really appreciated. So yeah, thanks for watching guys.